Hi, I'm Kathy Cote from Catalyst Fitness and Nutrition, right here in Mashpee. I'd like to bring you a five-part series covering weight loss, or Weight Loss 101. We'll go over exercise, diet, and a couple things that you might not think are related to weight loss. Thank you for watching Mashpee TV. Most people would assume that to get better results for weight loss, they need to ramp up their exercise and really dial in their nutrition habits, overlooking sleep. Sleep can negatively affect your willpower, hunger, and your cravings and stand in the way of the results that you want. It might not seem fun or sexy to concentrate on reducing your stress or getting more sleep, but trust me, they are game changers. Getting enough sleep is just as important to your health, well-being, and your weight as diet and exercise is. Being sleep deprived sets up your brain to make bad decisions. It dulls the activity in the frontal lobe, which is responsible for decision making and impulse control. It's almost like being drunk. You don't have the mental clarity to make good decisions. And when you're overtired, your brain is looking for something that feels good. You might be able to say no to those fresh baked cookies when you're rested, but if you're sleep deprived, your brain has no problem saying yes, please. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that when people were starved of sleep, late night snacking increased and they were more likely to choose high carb snacks. In another study done at the University of Chicago, sleep deprived participants chose snacks with twice as much fat as those who slept at least eight hours. And then in another study, they found that sleeping too little prompts people to eat bigger portions of all foods, increasing weight gain. Researchers found that a lack of sleep led to increased cravings for energy-dense, high-carbohydrate foods. So it appears that being sleep-deprived leads to craving junk food while also lacking the impulse control to say no. Sleep is like nutrition for the brain. Have you ever taken note of your mood and habits after having a poor night's sleep? Besides the brain fog and feeling groggy, notice what else is being affected. How's your motivation? How's your attitude? Are you grumpy or irritable? Do you have more cravings? Do you have less self-control or maybe none at all? Trying to fill the void or empty feeling with food and nothing quite seems to satisfy you. Sleep is so underrated for your health and weight management. You should be waking up feeling refreshed and ready to seize the day. Getting in a great workout, fueling your body with a protein-packed breakfast and not having any cravings until lunch. Having the ability to make clear, clear decisions and getting things done. Imagine being in a good mood and having positive energy vibes, the kind where people actually want to be around you. Try to sleep eight to nine hours, no matter what. Here's what you can do to get more sleep. Studies have shown that going to bed one hour before midnight is equal to two hours of sleep. Artificial blue light from your devices, TV, and your workspace disturb your natural sleep and wake cycle. You can cut out that blue light using blue light blocking glasses at night or even at work. Try setting a consistent sleep schedule each night and make it a priority. Here are the steps that you can take. Take an inventory of what your day looks like and see how much time you spend on meaningful and non-meaningful tasks that can either be assets or liabilities to your sleep. Increase your available sleep time by cutting out the habits that aren't serving you. Is it really necessary to check your phone to see what's going on in Facebook, TikTok, or Instagram for like the hundredth time? Shut off all of your electronics, computers, tablets, your phone, TVs, and such two hours before bedtime and read a relaxing book, something that's non-stimulating. Try and get a small amount of magnesium from foods or a supplement like nuts or local honey before you go to bed. Magnesium is gonna help you fall asleep. And then limit liquids before bed unless you're really dehydrated. So try to, try to stop drinking around two hours before you go to bed. After you brush your teeth and you're ready for bed, Try deep breathing using an app like Headspace or even doing like a five minute meditation. There are several apps or guided meditations that you can find on Spotify or YouTube. You can start that video or the song and then put your phone screen down and don't get sucked into checking your email one last time. Once you fall asleep, it's important to stay asleep. So keep your room relatively cool and use moisture wicking sheets and pillows if you tend to wake up in a sweat. 
You can use blackout curtains or a sleep mask to eliminate light and cover all those LED buttons with tape if you're super sensitive to light. Use a fan or even earplugs to drown out those little noises that might wake you up. Sleep quality and duration are also affected by the activities that you do during the day. So get out in the sunlight and do some kind of daily activity. Walking is, is great for this. Avoid doing any type of heavy exercise later on in the day. A walk after dinner is fine, but a full-blown workout will get your cortisol elevated and interrupt melatonin. That's the hormone that's responsible for helping you to sleep. Don't drink too much caffeine and limit caffeine after 2 p.m. or by noon if you find that you're caffeine intolerant or sensitive to it. And also limit alcohol and don't have it less than two hours before you go to sleep. While one drink may seem relaxing, overindulging will affect your sleep quality and leave you feeling tired the next day. There are other things that are more beneficial to help you wind down and get ready for sleep than alcohol. You can try an herbal tea instead. So prioritize your sleep, aiming for eight to nine hours so that you can feel your best every day. Thank you for watching MASHP TV. Thank you.